I was expecting Nunavut to be mostly tundra, and so the landscape really surprised me. It's just incredibly beautiful. With Arctic Bay, it's just like the 24-hour sunlight right into August was pretty remarkable. It makes the day so long that you can fit so much in, and I think that the sun really gives you a lot of energy, just never ending. <laughs> What struck me was that I had no idea how beautiful Nunavut was. I think if more people knew just how gorgeous the place is, there'd probably be a lot more people wanting to come up there. So this is old sad house. They call it Kangma in Inuktitut. What was it made out of? Made out of rocks. How would people heat a sod house? They used to use this as kulluk to make fire and use the fat as a fuel. Going to Arctic Bay was almost like going to a different world. You know, it's not very populated and so there is a lot of space. It almost feels like the land has its own stories. And it made me wish that more indigenous communities were like that. I brought you your kulak. <laughs> so when you light it, how do you start it? What you do is with that cotton, so you have to dip it in oil and then squish it to make the edge mm -hmm. like that and then you light it. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So before, would they just use stone kind of plate? It's not just any rock that you make a kudluk. It mm -hmm. has to be a certain, uh, like a soft stone. You must have seen lots of changes throughout your life, eh? I'm going to you know, it's it's through generations of lived experience and that passing of of knowledge, that transference of knowledge is just so evident and, and yet people are very very humble about what they know and what they know how to do. I think an important lesson that can be learned from traveling to places like Arctic Bay is patience. You know, there's a lot of things that are not in your control. And so you have to be patient. You have to go with the flow. And so taking the time to appreciate the beauty is something that everybody can learn from. <laughs> 